Hey, welcome back human beings to another video here on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another episode of How to Ark, where I tell you and show you how to tame every creature in Ark. Today's episode is the Dimorphodon. This cute little guy, where are you going? Right there. I mean, these guys were amazing. You probably see them running around a lot on the island. Uh, most maps, actually. I think these spawn on every map. But these guys are super useful shoulder pet. Yes, it is another shoulder pet. But I think we're coming to the end of the shoulder pets. Now, spawn-wise, they're just everywhere. I mean, mainly on beaches and stuff, you'll see these guys. Mountain ranges. There are a lot of places. Uh, they are a passive creature until you attack them. Once you attack them, they'll chase after you. If, if there's a pack of them, they will all chase after you. And they can also hurt you if you're on a creature. So they can uh, hit you while you're on a creature. So these guys are a no-go for attacking in a group if you are not prepared. Now, my method for you is the re they very rarely land. I know this guy's just landed, but it's very rare that they land. So my method for you today is that you have yourself... A if you have a crossbow or a bow and arrow, something that you can shoot pretty quickly. We're going to use a bow and arrow just for the demonstration. And then you need some bowlers. Uh, so this is the best way. This is a knockout team, so you want to get this guy to you. And the best way to do that is for them to follow you. Now, another method for this would be jump on a Tyranodon and start shooting it as it flies off. It will attack you, but as it starts to talk over when you jump on a Tyranodon or something and you follow it until you can grab it. So, um, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can shoot this guy. So you want to lead your shots because not every uh, Trank arrow hits these guys. There we go. He was quite lucky there. And as you can see, this guy is now chasing after us. We're going to get the bowler out. And you could time it if you lead it. And there you go. Now you want to shoot this guy extremely quick in the head. Now if you've got Trank Arrows, um, obviously use a Trank Arrow with this. Shoot it in the head a few times. You really don't want this guy to get out. Because he's going to be a pain. And you also have to wait five seconds before you can bowler it again. So this is a 180. Um, and it's gone down after five hits. This is a higher taming great effectiveness. So you might want to check on the wiki or dodo decks how many trank arrows it's going to take for you depending on your taming effectiveness but once it's out um it's pretty easy to tame you may need to give it some narcotics because its torpidity rose down so quick uh, but this guy's kibble is basically raw mutton if you feed it raw mutton it gives you the best taming effectiveness and then followed by that you can give it uh, some prime meat or something so i'd recommend giving it some raw mutton and then while you wait for this guy to tame up by this oh look at that it was pretty quick this is a perfect opportunity to say to you guys, if you enjoyed the video or find it useful in any way, make sure to like button, subscribe to become a human being, and check out the How to Tame series link in the description. Okay, so here we go. So you've got yourself a Dimorphodon, another little shoulder pet. Now, why does it, why is this shoulder pet good? What What's the point being? Why have another shoulder pet? Well, this guy is actually pretty much like the vultures, as in it's a pack animal. So if you have a bunch of these, they become extremely effective, and even one on its own is pretty effective. Now, this guy does a lot of damage for a shoulder pet. Um, for this 180, it probably does about 100 damage on average so for example if you're just running around and this guy is on neutral on your shoulder and you get attacked by a compi or titan boa or you know something not a titan boa the ants and the flying ants if you get attacked by them this guy will take them out for you it will defend them on your shoulder or get them nips in and because it does a lot of damage it actually won't take that long also like other shoulder pets if you're looking at an enemy or a dino and you double tap f this guy will fly at it and actually go and attack it which is pretty cool like I said, this guy is amazing in packs. So if you had a pack of six of these, example like the vultures, if you had a pack of these, all on aggressive, following you around, one, they can pretty much take out anything. If they're doing 100 damage per hit, and you've got 600 damage per hit, you could actually even take on rexes with these guys. That's how good they are. Uh, what I do recommend, however, is that if you do have a pack of them, they are brilliant for defending you. So you could throw a pack around, and then if you turn their follow distance... So you've got the change change follow distance from medium to lowest. This guy would actually stay super low and it flies around you. So for example, if you had a pack of these right now, uh, they will actually fly around you when you're running and will cause a bit of a shield from anyone trying to shoot you, which is amazing. As you can see like this, it just flies around in circles. Now imagine having uh, four more of these flying around you at different heights. Uh, it's going to be quite hard for dinos and players to hit you like that, which is pretty cool. With that ability too, they are great for getting bees. They're a good companion if you want to get beehives or you want to try and tame that queen bee. Because this guy, uh, is, again, is super strong. It's lightweight. It's on your shoulder. And if you have it on lowest range, it will defend you from creatures because they'll hit that instead of hitting you. It also is amazing for doing caves. Now... Again, you need a pack of these, but if you went to a cave or a pack of these, these little shoulder pets following you around, you'd probably clear that cave pretty quick. This guy is super effective way in caves. And if you know the tactic of the 
the ice death worm over on Ragnarok, then you should know the fact that these guys uh, can actually kill that on their own. And a, a known method is to take these guys out to the ice cream and just chuck them all out there and let it take them on itself. And of course you have your backpack abilities where any items that you put in this guy's inventory will then be halved in your own inventory. So therefore using the backpack effect which is pretty cool. It is a shoulder pet so it's super cute and is a companion. And that pretty much is the Dimorphodon. One of the best shoulder pets in my opinion. I love the otters but this guy for utility wise is amazing. Anyways guys that is the video. This is the Dimorphodon. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe to me. And check out this cute little guy. Thank you all for watching. Bye.